Hello everyone, and welcome back to Timber and Stone. Last episode, we left off after constructing our wonderful engineer's uh, hut and workstation. And off camera, I have been working on the wall. This is, these type of things, they take a while to do. Um, I added the wooden supports here, finished this tower, and now I'm working on the curved section of our wall. Planted a few more trees, uh, defended from I think two necromancers so it's, it's been fairly quiet uh, except for just more burnt trees over in this direction I'm thinking about building something out here to the neck for the necromancer to attack so we know when he shows up because lately he's been getting down into this area and I don't want him to shoot a fireball at this farmhouse right here because that would be pretty devastating uh, maybe if I build a wall uh, just a low-lying wall uh, something similar to this, so field stone with fence over top of it, just make it a too tall barrier, so they have to walk around it, or destroy it to get over it. Uh, this episode we're going to be working on this little plateau, and what's going to go here is our training yard. So it's going to have some archery targets, it's going to have some living spaces for our infantry and archers. If I ever have archers again, I don't know. They just feel kind of useless, but I should construct a training yard for them. And they're going to need a too high wall just so they don't produce any friendly fire. So I'm thinking if I can make this something like a 3 by no, 5 by 11. And then get rid of this so we can have a door and then we can have kind of a pit area for our normal training target dummies mm, I think that's wrong I should base it off of this wall here just to keep things nice and even seven by seven that's okay get rid of this so there's gonna be two separate doors to get to the two different areas and then we're going to be building a structure here to... Oh, I just sold some stuff that I didn't want to sell. Oh, well, I was just hitting yes, and I didn't read. Always read what you're selling, folks. It'll, it'll help a lot. Uh, let's do an umber brick kind of foundation here. And what we're going to do is basically make just a little housing area for our troops in general. And let's bring this out to about there, yeah? Uh, maybe even make a little bit of a jut here so we can have a staircase up to a second floor or something. Let's get rid of these blocks because we're going to get in the way of the foundation. We can just extend that down. And you guys can see our basic layout could put doors in. We're going to do brace doors. It's a little bit more defensive for sure. It's kind of all I've been using here lately actually. I've been really wanting to keep things out of my buildings if they try to break in. So let's see. Let's go ahead and put it to double time. And then construction uh, bones. Yeah, I'll sell bones. Not used for anything at all, fence. Something like that will work for the outside area. Uh, I don't need to buy any seedlings. I could buy stone. If he's offering me stone, I'll buy it. There's some solid. I think that's solid, is it? I don't know, I don't remember its exact name here. Uh, willing to buy 22, no. Do I have two merchants? It's a little, oh, I do. That's a little odd, I've never had two show up at the same time. But uh, obviously they want some of my shit. You can leave, because you're not offering me anything I want. I'll sell the bandages, because I have 
enough cloth. I'm not gonna sell any cotton right now because we just sold a bunch of bandages and that's gonna take some cotton to get back and I'll buy all the stone. There you go. That's that's nice. I'm glad uh, a second one came through. Uh, sure, it took all of our gold, but crafting the stone is a little... I can't keep up with production and I don't want to assign more people to stonemasons at this time. So this is my workaround. So let's put this wall here for brick. Get rid of this, leave that open. And since this is a barracks, I might uh, try and have a defensive little spot here and maybe on this side as well just so it has some crenellations in it and then just a normal roof let's put some military objects in here so let's objects military archery target there we go some training dummies as well. And then I'll also dig out kind of an odd shape here and replace this with dirt. just to make it look a little bit more used. Now this is gonna be very compact, just like everything in the city. Uh, we're going for a very compact, utilitarian look for everything. Nothing too grand except for the castle, castle palace. Let's do a quick sweep. Make sure everything is safe for now. Lower all of our terrain down. And I think I need to name, I think, two more people. I'll have to look up uh, the suggestions from the past couple episodes. I'm a little behind on that, but I am still accepting names. So if you guys are wanting some, just let me know. I just need to remember to write them down and assign it. I might do that after we do a little bit of a skip to make sure things are getting done in a timely manner this episode. Let's gather that. There we go. Let's, let's just do this all out of timbered brick. I think that's an okay way to go about this build. So we'll do that. This all the way down. I also need to dig this all out. So I can put in some nice floor, probably flat stone, just like everything else. Construction we need dirt. A whole lot of dirt. There we go. And since the textures kind of merge into each other, I think it'll, it'll look fairly natural to do this. This is really the only building so far that's like right up against the road. I kind of like that. Put it on double speed. Let's make sure we are chopping down enough trees to sustain our wood supply. There we go. Another merchant? Wow. All right. It's a dead spider. It's an old warning. Apparently though, oh, I was gonna say the door is broken down, but that guy's just standing in the way. Who are you? Are you a car across? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, car across, get out of there. 
All right, sell some of that cloth armor. I'm not gonna sell any of the fur. Let's make sure we can make some extra cloth out of wool, maybe. Uh, 35, so 70. There we go. Decline. Our total population is up to 40, which is great. I don't quite know where to assign some current people. We have how many infantry? Because I want to have 10 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 infantry. That's plenty. I don't need any more brick at this time. Keep building that up. Walls, covered brick again. Sorry, 10 minutes in. These episodes go so quick with me. And there's that layer, which looks pretty good. fence look let's see how well this looks from about uh, citizen height yeah that looks okay it's blocked off but open enough to make sure your army's training and the citizens know they're fairly safe in this side I don't know what I want to do on this side of the road I might leave it kind of barren I don't want to do this too much I mean I could do this all the way around the castle and it would look okay, I'm sure. But it just might be overused. I don't know, you guys can let me know if I should just copy this kind of garden design on this side as well. And I can. I mean, it, it will make it look nice, for sure. Or I could try and do something else. But once we build our little troop uh, barracks, we... I think that's kind of the last major profession that needs a building besides the fishermen, but the fishermen we won't get to probably till late because they're going to be living on houses on the docks down here. And if I want that to work for them, then it's best to save that for later. I think going into this section of the town, uh, we're going to wrap the road back around, bring a road straight down, and then a couple jutting off and connecting, making little alleyways and just building a bunch of homes that no one will probably live in, but that's okay. What are you, what are you guys doing? Get out of the way. There you go. Let's put construction flooring. You know, let, let's put the gray paved stone in. We don't really have any buildings that use this. I think it would look pretty nice. So we'll have some tables in here for some food. Uh, they can eat and train fairly quickly. And then the upper floor will be some bunks. Not many, I mean, my, my troops are set to sleep when they get tired, and so what's happened is they've just kind of naturally found their rhythm, and there's also two extra beds out here. So maybe three beds in the upper floor, and that'll be five, that'll be half our people, which I don't expect more, more than half of our infantry to sleep at once. At least I don't want more than half of our infantry to sleep at once. Need to work on this as well. That tower. This one doesn't need a door. You can see I put the door right here for this tower because this is one of them that needs to be climbable. And it looks alright.
Are we getting another merchant or is that an old message? Another merchant. Three in one day. That's a lot of donkeys. Oh man, this is just looking good. It's looking real good. Uh, sure, I'll, I'll sell even more cloth armor. Why not? Construction flooring. Let's do great paved stone again. Make sure we get all of that floor covered. And then, you know, I'm going to start digging out in this direction. Just a little bit. Get ready for the road to expand. And with this side, what's it looking like? It's looking like that, which isn't too bad. Uh, sure. All these merchants, though, they are slowing down the building because it pauses the game every time it's doing this. Uh, sure, I'll sell rope, whatever. I'm not going to sell the cloth because I'm, I'm needing it at the moment. I, I do queue up bricks every now and then, though, when I feel like uh, we were getting low there a little bit before we bought 7,000 of it. I don't need seeds either. Get out of here with all that. What was it? Plies back to being good. Who are you? Jimmy Boom Bat. The crazy fisherman doing his thing. It's a level 12 fisherman. Not bad. Not bad, Jimmy. Food 33. We have three fishermen now. As you can see, they're over here on these rocks fishing. Um, I believe I need to name one of them for Jimmy's brother. I just forget the name. And I always forget to do it. So, I'll definitely do that this episode. is going in a little slow I don't know where are the boaters are they could be asleep they're set to sleep once they get tired as well let's put uh, some castle brick down there we go and there too and there now I'm increasing the height of this whole wall one at a time just because it, uh, it's a little bit safer. No one will get stuck, hopefully. And I won't have to go back in and dig them out. Because that can be very annoying. And this wall is going to be fairly high. It's going to be even higher than this size. I think by maybe two blocks. So, you know, I, I like wrapping the wall to kind of match the natural train height. It makes sense because everything's going up in height and it just uh, makes things look better. But we are coming to the night phase. As you can see, our wonderful sun is setting in the background. And what I'm going to do is skip here to when our new small barracks is complete. So you guys can see where we're at. And uh, you guys can let me know what you think. All right, everyone, I have been pretty busy. The military academy is what I'm going to call this thing. It's not so much a barracks. It's not so much a defensive structure. It's just uh, where our military becomes trained, things like that. Uh, I think it turned out fairly well. Um, it looks fairly house-like, which is a bit of a problem design-wise. Uh, the only thing really making it look military at all is maybe these red flags that I put on it. Uh, this battlement over here and then the training yards of course But uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys the inside. So the upper floor we got three beds uh, weapon rack armor chest tool chest with some bookcases a Table and chairs for the people to sit at the lower floor. There is a mess hall with a long table fireplace we got more weapon racks, miscellaneous storage, food storage, treasure chests, uh, dresser with a bookcase down here, of course, our archery yard, and our training yard. So, I think it turned out really well. 
besides the design philosophy not quite matching uh, what it's used for, but it's okay. Uh, you'll get those every now and then. From this angle, it looks pretty good. And I'm glad it takes up pretty much this whole spot right here. Uh, it's a bit of a larger building, which is pretty nice. And other than that, I've been trying my best to put up these walls here and call this other section of battlements complete. Which I really can't wait for. Um, I think it'll look really nice once it is. I'm thinking I'm doing this wrong. Am I doing this wrong? Yes, I think I am. I can do that and then the corners. This needs to stay flat for a little bit so I can assign the battlements. But what I can do instead is put in our field stone walkway. I like the way Fieldstone looks for our walkways. I think it gives a really nice color break from gray to somewhat of a light red on top of our walls, which is pretty cool. So something like that, and this looks like we're gonna run over 20 minutes, but that's not a big deal, I don't think. Bring these up as well. These corner battlements. And yeah, construction. Let's go ahead and throw in our timber tiled floor. Okay, something like that over get rid of that and right there we have a fair amount of builders I mean we've already gone through about 3,000 st uh, stone brick since last time we spoke obviously uh, building these solid walls I mean and they are solid it's a little inefficient if I left them hollow it would be a bit uh, cheaper on the stone costs, but I want it to be a true wall here It's a little expensive though just just a little bit on the expensive side Anyways, I'll go ahead and keep working on the walls off-camera Thank you guys so much for watching as always if you are enjoying the content feel free to leave a like comment Down below on what you would like me to build next or if you have any critiques on what's already here uh, go away, merchant. Let me know also. Um, merchant man, you're, you're killing my outro. You're, you're making me read things. I'm just going to ignore that. You can follow me on Twitter. Uh, Twitter.com forward slash Uthris for more nonsensical ramblings like this one. If that's what you're into, go ahead and do that. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode tomorrow.